Hello and welcome to day six of your 11 keys. I imagine you got a little bit the hang of it. You developed already some praxis and you're feeling it, that something is shifting for you. A lot of these keys are, of course, keys is the symbol for unlocking something. Keys are the symbol for opening up something that you haven't seen before. And so today we're going into a, a realm that is quite unknown to us. The, the hidden realm, if you want to call it that way. If we would know everything that we do or what we say or what we are, uh, I think we would be very different. So we don't really have access to all that we are. And we're carrying. And of course, in the old days, we talk a lot about karma, which is still relevant. Although karma now works faster, but it's still something obviously that we need to work through. As we are upgrading into a higher consciousness, karma is not so relevant anymore as when you're operating out of love, it's very difficult to accumulate karma. So just like in Golden Atlantis, that short period that Golden Atlantis really existed, because not all of Atlantis was in that higher consciousness, karma did not accrue simply because people were in their heart, in their heart consciousness, they were in love, they were kind to each other, they were kind to themselves, they took care of themselves. So really, karma was not an issue. So what we're talking about here today is not directly karma, because we don't really know what karma we're carrying. It's more about the hidden realms that control us. When I was teaching, one of the, the, the things that stuck, you know, you have some of these things that's just, you don't forget, is hegemony. And hegemony is a concept that comes off, out of philosophy and was coined and kind of theory developed by a guy called Gramsci. He was an Italian. And it is basically how governments, but it's not only governments, so bear with me for a second as I extend it, how governments create a consent with, uh, without our consent, how governments create how we vote, how we are in the next couple of years. So Naum Chomsky wrote a beautiful book about that, Manufacturing Consent, and this is about hegemony. Of course, I could talk now very long about hegemony, but I feel you get the gist. So hegemony for me is in a way all of that control, manipulation, dom domination, no, I can't say it even now, so it's very interesting. It's one of these words that slip me so, so easily that is so related to control. It is about not being dominated. This is the word. And of course, we feel this sometimes also in our ordinary world. But we are not aware of it. We are so accustomed to it. Maybe that's the right word. That we don't re realize. And it's not only about governments. And it's not only about big pharma. It's not only about the media. It's not only about whoever. Hegemony is something that possibly has been created for a long time to prepare us to comply, to prepare us to do what somebody wants us to do. And so that hegemony thing is a really good thing to let go because it has a history to it. It has a purpose that is surely not for the best of us all. And so today we are going to do a journey to release these hegemonies that kind of have chains on you. 
that kind of influence you without you knowing that they influence you. So today it's really about a lot of liberation. And the idea is that you come out and you really understand more about your choice. And if you do, follow us. Follow, for the lack of a better word, let's say follow us. If you are with us more often, you are maybe aware that choice and light are the two things that we are really delivering every moment. Whether you are with us in a session or in a class or whether you're listening to this video. Choice and light is something that we transmit. So in this meditation, we're going to get your choice and your light specially delivered by whoever turns up for you personally to deliver and for you to receive. So this is about today. Hope you're enjoying this and enjoy. We're enjoying your feedback, your comments and your experiences. We will be present to each one of you because this is the idea. Uh, of being in a unique space where you not limit participants, not limit audience, but where you have an audience that you can actually see and talk to heart to heart. So now enjoy this meditation. In our meditation, today we will take you to a sound bath of light and you will receive your sixth key. Sit comfortable or would you prefer lie down? Connect with your breathing and allow all your bodies rest and relax. In our sacred space, we will take you into a sphere of pure white light around you. Feel how this white light is covering you, is surrounding you, is warm and shiny, and allows you to feel so comfortable. So connect, connect it with yourself. While you are in that beautiful sphere of white light, we are calling you Saint Germain, Christ, Aganesh, to allow you to fully set free from all illusion and hegemonies, all kind of control, mental and emotional, slavery, fear. So allow them bat you in pure light so you can create, manifest and semifest a beautiful tomorrow. Enjoy this sound bath of light. Thank you. 
to set you free with that sound bath of light. or Saint Germain is now bringing you your key this is the key of grace yes all is gone yes you can be fully you without any weight, without any past, without any karma, without any guilt or shame, blame or manipulation, any form. And this key of grace unlocks your gratitude to enjoy your pure essence and how you shine in the world. Receive that key from Saint Germain Ganesh. Or Christ and place it in your heart. Spend some more time with the one who has given you the key. And feel his frequency and his blessing. Becoming fully conscious again about your space. And the sphere of light in which you journeyed and meditated. And slowly bring your consciousness back. Feeling all your bodies and fields. Being one. Noticing that all your bodies and fields have received the sound bath of light. Let it sink, let it integrate. And 
slowly. When you are ready, take a deep breath and exhale. And open your eyes to smile. Namaste. Namaste.